Today on the channel, let's get ready to open up Greatest Hits Monday Night Wars, Triple H. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite Greatest Hits Monday Night Wars unboxing and review and today on the channel we got Triple H but for all your Triple H Monday Night War needs Walmart but for everything else wrestling related hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there but of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, like usual, we'll compare this to the original version of this figure later on in this very video here. And of course, the greatest hits line chugging along. Very hard to find at this point. That's Walmart distribution. We've talked about it at nauseum here on the channel. Uh, it's just the way it is. Right, Todd McFarlane from the couch? Todd says, right. You're frustrated with them? No. Okay, yeah, the check cashes? That's all you care about, and that's Mattel, too. They get their money from Walmart. After that, hey, it's Walmart's item. They got to do. Obviously, Todd McFarlane on the couch. Obviously, the Mattel team, they would love everybody to get as many figures as they want. But at the end of the day, they sold them to Walmart. It is Walmart's problem. And we got to remember that. It's hard. I understand it. Obviously, Mattel team wants these out there, but their hands are tied. It's not Mattel Creations. It's not Mattel's store. It's Walmart. So you're at the mercy of Walmart, just like every other vendor in the country, really the world at this day and age. And like I said, we've talked that business talk a lot on this very YouTube channel. But let's dive into this Triple H figure. And of course, we're going to do it by doing this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. Did I already say this, Todd? You got me all flustered here. Uh, but we're going to do it again. Maybe you're the first time, maybe the second time. Who's keeping track? But we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And old Triple H, no stranger to any line. This originally was an Amazon exclusive, part of like the best of the Monday Night War. No, not best of, what was it? Like Raw. It was like a Raw line. It had Jericho in it. It had him, of course. And this went to deep clearance back in the day. But here we are. What is old is new again. But I do see some changes on this one, so I do appreciate that. If you're going to re-release them, make them better, make some changes, make people like me want to get this one and that's what we got going on here monday night wars of course good old vincent the former virgil down there will build him at the very end triple h triple h glamour shot window of course elite eight and up wwe dx triple h right there greatest hit certified authentic triple h monday night wars elite tail the tape got the blurb got the glamour shot got old vincent got the rest of the line here of course unboxing every single one of these on the channel stay tuned at the very end we're going to unbox or we're going to put together the Build-A-Figure Vincent, and we'll rank the entire way from my least favorite to my favorite. From Greenwich, Connecticut, oh my gosh, somebody get me a pizza. Height, six foot four, weight, 255 pounds. Finisher, that dreaded pedigree, watch out for it. This is from Raw, March 30th, 1998. After Shawn Michaels dropped the ball at WrestleMania 14, Triple H turned to his buddies. He turned to his pals and started a new era for D-Generation X. If you're not down with that, he has two words for you. Good luck, I think is what those are. Career highlights, 14-time champion, world champion, intercontinental champion, WWE tag team champion. I do see they got a little sticker over words back here. I'm going to pull this sticker off, and I'm going to see what were they trying to cover up. Do they misspell something? Do they put the wrong thing in there? Oh, if you're not down with that, he has two worlds for you. Oh, what worlds does he have? I've got Uranus. I've got Saturn. Who knows? So they had to put a little sticker that says words over the top of that one. Pretty funny, all things considered. That's the way it does go. Of course, and oh my gosh, losing hands right out of the packages. What are we doing here? Behind the back, Skyhook. See you later, goodbye. But it looks like we got the hands of a Vincent. That's what we got going on here. He's got the two sweet brother hands here. At first, I thought they were Triple H's hands. Obviously not his hands. There it is, Plastic Prison. Look at that. You get a cut old Triple H out, and he is locked up at the ankles. Uh, not the first time Triple H has been locked up at the ankles, from what I've been told. That's what my sources tell me. Somebody fact check that. Todd McFarlane with the quick fact check, yes. He has been locked up at the ankles. Okay, well, that's what Todd says, and 
I don't doubt Mr. McFarlane. Heck, he's on the couch. If Triple H wants to come to the couch, he wants to hang out, he wants to listen to some Motorhead with me, uh, he's more than welcome. He's more than welcome, of course, Triple H. But we got Vincent. Oh, my gosh. Even the Build-A-Figure parts are locked up. What are we doing here? I think I'm just going to put those off to the side for now. We'll get, we'll get to those in the future. And I get Triple H out of the package. There it is. And like I said, Vincent hands and all that. I'm just going to leave those in here for right now. Put this off to the side. See you later. But let's dive in old Triple H here. We do get the Monday Night Raw uh, microphone here. Raw is war. Oh, simpler times, of course. Looking very, very nice. Seen it before. Hopefully we'll see that again. We do get extra hands here. He does have a gripping hand and a splayed out hand out of the package. You get the exact opposite hands over there. And then we get two fists of Triple H Fury just in case we do need those along the way. But now we got old Triple H out of the package. Looking good. Looking like Triple H. It looks like it's the day after WrestleMania 14 and he's got some things to do. He's got some worlds to talk about, of course. Get that old school Triple H head scan there. No, go no goatee, no facial hair. Got that long flowing hair going on, looking pretty good, all things considered. Pleather jacket over the top here, love a pleather jacket. And then a soft goods DX shirt underneath. Of course, make it as different as you want. Maybe you use one with the jacket on, one with the jacket off, shirt on, shirt off. Choose your own Triple H adventure, of course, at the end of the day. But a nice DX uh, coat over the top on this one. I am going to pull these hands off and I'm going to remove this coat. I'm going to disrobe him right here. That's what I'm going to do, Todd McFarlane. No, Todd! Not you, I'm just robing the figure. Put your pants back on. We know how Todd McFarlane does. He's a wild card, a wild card from the couch. Uh, but he's a genius, too, at the same time. And that's always what they say. Fine line between uh, genius and insanity, as we do know. But Triple H going back together like a young Humpty Dumpty. Looking pretty good, all things considered here. Soft goods DX shirt, Velcro in the back. Your standard DX shirt, we've seen that before as well. Uh, open arms here, of course, down into the hands, looking good. And then he's got a little bit of... Uh, blue jeans, a little bit of that wash color to them, but not as heavy as the last one. Once again, we'll compare that here in a second. Black shoes on Triple H as well. Arms all the way around for us. Got to have those. Bicep cut. Double jointed. Pinless elbows. Updated articulation here. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Ab crunch. Those big old Triple H splits. We know he's known for these splits. Leg goes up. No bounce back on this one. Is this Vietnam? Let's find out here. Do, 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 do. Made in Vietnam. So Vietnam, they showed they could do it. They showed they could do it. No bounce back on this one. Thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees, and then ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. The usual Mattel articulation right here. Uh, is there enough difference over the last one? Well, we're going to find out here in about two seconds. But first, got to put him on the ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. But here is the old one. And let me tell you, there is differences here. Look at that difference in those jeans. Uh, I think I prefer this one. These were a little bit shocking to the eye when they came out and still kind of are to me. You do got the jacket over the top. Different DX shirt, different head. It's similar head, but it is different, of course, with the updated technology. Got a fist of fury over here. There's enough meat on the bone for this one, if you ask me. You use one with the shirt, one with the coat. There you go. Put different hands on them, and you're off to the old races here. Uh, older microphone on this one, better microphone with this one. So we do get a few differences, enough to matter here. And it's been a while, I guess, even though this one did go to pretty deep clearance on Amazon, it is nice to get this back out. It is definitely an impactful moment of the Mon Monday Night Wars right after WrestleMania 14 with this Triple H figure. So there it is, Triple H, Monday Night Wars Greatest Hits. Be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Enough meat on the bone for you to pick this one up. Let me know in the comments. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. Even more content for you and tons of bonus stuff over on Patreon. Link in the description down below. Prostlytees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Triple H and DX, I got two worlds for you. See you real soon.